This is a celt stone found in archaeological sites all over the world. Archaeologists became intrigued with these when someone happened to spin one on a table and they found that it would stop spinning, wiggle a bit, and then spin in the opposite direction it started with. Also, if you just push down vertically on one side of the stone to make it rock back and forth, it will suddenly start spinning around. Now these stones were typically used for axe purposes, but today we have a different name for something that has the shape that can make it reverse its own spin. It's called a rattleback. Let me show you how they work. The harder I try to spin it, the harder it goes back the other direction. Like look how much momentum I'm giving this and it just stops and then goes the other way, completely reversing the angular momentum. But before we do that, let me tell you about the sponsor for this video, Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. If you're too busy doing science this summer, you need to try Factor. Skip the trip to the grocery store and skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is eat and enjoy and then get back outside and soak up the warmer weather. Also, if you're looking for calorie mm. conscious options, you can try the delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with 550 calories per serving or less. Factor is now owned by HelloFresh and with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. I love switching between the brands and now my viewers can enjoy both brands at a discount with me. The meats are as good as if you just prepared them fresh and are so good even after reheating. Also, you can get quick meals without sacrificing your health. So if you want to try Factor, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code ACTIONLAB50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Now let's get back to our experiment. So how does something completely reverse its angular momentum and spin the other direction? Well, there are three components that make a good rattleback. The first one is that the elliptical bottom of the rattleback doesn't align with the top. So if the top were a rectangle, the elliptical bottom would be offset a bit. Also, the radius of curvature of one side of the ellipsoid needs to be different than the other side, kind of like a spoon or an egg shape. And finally, the mass distribution needs to be different for both sides of the principal axes. It has to be able to wiggle a bit from being off center and rock back and forth. With these components in place, you now have a good rattleback. Notice how I can push it straight down, but it becomes unstable and then starts to spin. Or if I spin it clockwise, it will spin and then stop and wiggle a bit and then spin the other direction. In fact, if I just set it down on a vertically vibrating plate, it'll spin counterclockwise indefinitely, as long as this plate keeps vibrating. The rattleback will just keep spinning. It's amazing how there's only vertical motion, yet somehow we're ending up with circular motion. And the way it's doing this is due to the friction of the rocking putting a torque on the rattleback. If we look at this in slow motion, you can see how it starts out rocking back and forth, but then it kind of has this twisting motion where it pushes off of the plate, and that causes it to spin. Without friction, it can't push off the table in order to spin. You can see this when I try to spin it on ice. For example, I have a freezing cold aluminum block that I'm going to pour some water on to make a thin sheet of ice on it with low friction. Watch what happens when I spin it on it now. It can't reverse. But if you have too much friction, then the spinning stops before it can rock unstable enough to reverse the spin. And what's cool is these are actually really easy to make if you don't have one. You just need a spoon. If you just take a spoon and bend the handle so that it bends a little bit off to one side, then now you have a rattleback, which can reverse spins. You can also do it by weighting a plastic spoon a little bit off center like this one here. You can see how we can easily make a reverse spin. And what's cool is sometimes depending on the weight distribution, you can get it to reverse spin twice and go back the other direction. The first spin reversal is due to the rocking in this direction. 
and the second one is due to rocking in the shorter axis like this. See how the rocking sends the spoon in different directions? And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.